Hello, long time no seen. As you can see, I dropped severely with my rating, and I'm gonna play uh, an official friendly against Mattias Zanetti. Official friendly means it's a friendly game, not counted to any tournament, but counted to the rating, yet with changes halved. So if I normally lose, for example, 20 rating points, I'm gonna lose 10 rating points because it's a friendly game. I bet I hadn't played him yet. Yeah, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. It's a strong hand, but not too flexible due to two scorings. I probably can't afford headline red score purge because I have to headline Middle East. And I have to play conservatively in USA because I don't have defectors, I don't have socialist governments and I don't have anti-French cards. So let it be this way. Middle East scoring. If possible, let's hold the Red Square Purge. But fighting for European domination has a priority. If I don't have Soviet cards, he probably has. So he may be in a good aggressive attacking position. Master Mindset, I like this nickname. Ooh. I don't like this headline, I have to worry for Asia, about Asia. Except worrying about Europe. Oh, not any longer. Okay. In this case, let's place here, as Europe is the last region remaining. Yeah, I know he can coup Italy. Maybe I should have triggered East European unrest. But no, I could deny him access to Italy, but now I have my own access. this way or another he would have to control Italy which is possible only by playing a 4 and rolling a 6 hmm. so let's cache it and let's probably start cooing. I think I'll start from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. He failed his coup. And I'll use a 3 because I don't want to play Arab Israeli war. Not with no access here. And I want a decent result. Of course, once it's my turn with my access here, I'm gonna drop DEFCON, even if it costs me playing Arab-Israeli war. All the regions were scored, so we should play... as if it was about the other region, uh, the same regions. East European unrest is saved for potential blockade. I want to have one more here. And then to discard one more to blockade. And I probably want to drop DEFCON. Or maybe not. I don't. The goal is not a threat against France because he either takes France and gives me realignments option with a very good modifier or drops Tefcon and gives me option to take France directly. 
of man with influence. Okay, priorities, priorities. Now let's check him against blockade even if I'm risking Vietnam. Yeah. Not a bad call, I must say. Okay, in this case, I need some over to here. And let's make it this way. Okay, now Marshall plan is kind of sort of useless, but I didn't get it. Hmm. Not that I got anything useful, particularly for a headline. Special relationship or US Japan? Uh, both wasting one up to some extent. But with special relationships, US crisis suddenly is somewhat better and the goal is mitigated. Mm -hmm. Italy, however, is vulnerable. Hmm. A China card. Ooh. Didn't work as he expected, I think. So, access to. Oh, I clicked realignment rolls, but I didn't want to do it. I wanted to place influence. One. Now I would have nothing against Marshall Plan, honestly. <laughs> I have this till I have independent threats, but Truman is gone, so probably Romanian will be played because, well, I should play it. I didn't counter coup because I want him to perform coups. <coughs> Excuse me. In case he has decal. I need three ops now, so let's use this card. I want to put one in Pakistan and two in Thailand. Of course, I should overprotect Italy once or twice, depending on where Warsaw Pact goes. I think twice, but it's a knowledge now. CIA indeed. 
And he played c8 first. Hmm. Okay, I think this might be a mistake. Because now he gave me access to Venezuela. So now US Japan to secure Venezuela, secure Iran because he can take it directly and crawl here. Five year plan, Indo Paki, containment, UN intervention, and Marshall plan. This is what I remembered. Not an easy hand for him. Suez crisis perfectly reparable under containment. Wants to space twice. Probably he's able to do it. I think I'll give him containment. Oh, sorry, I give him Romanian. Independent threats hit around here and Suez crisis with at least one to Uruguay. Okay, he got rid of CIA. That's certainly some profit on his side. And he's gonna keep you an intervention in hand. Probably. Oh, sorry, five year plan. Threatening in the Pakistani war or direct Pakistani takeover. I have to follow my plan, even risking Thailand after some... Oh, or Italy. Hmm. Okay, I went on too far. He didn't play containment. So he has five year plan and containment in hand. Okay, so I should go here in case of a coup. And I think I should overprotect right here, right this way. <laughs> Maybe not. Europe is lost anyway. If he headlines socialist governments or the goal and wants to take it, but Asia may be kept. And he may be perched. Of course, no duck and cover now. CIA is gone, besides, no DEFCON targets and. I certainly don't want him uh, to to be coup free. I can always defend Europe, at least temporarily, with independent rights, and then exploit some ops war due to Red Scare. Although. I don't have a very rich hand, but well, I have the China card, so... This tall may now go to space. Cambridge 5 is harmless. Nasser is relatively harmless, but I should play it late in turn and at least take Libya first. Mm -hmm, the goal, as expected. So 
if he takes France, I think the China card first. Oh, I don't have to use the China card. Because I will have the other countries sufficiently controlled. Now, that was a misclick, of course, damn it, I have to repeat all these clicks now. I now got a coup option. <laughs> but should I use it? Or let him use it? Who's a year? My only coup target is Iraq. And Syria, of course, but it doesn't deny him a coup. I'm thinking about the China card to stop his domination in Europe and break North Korea to threaten immediate scoring of Asia. extra three points and I think it's a good call maybe I'm able to space Nasser but it may be useless due to the fact that it returns eventually What I feel I need is refilling of my favorite beer, Bishop's Finger. So, see you soon. I think I'd rather give up Thailand than give up a coup. Thailand is a battleground, so is Nigeria, so it's just a battleground. A coup is a 2vp swing, not a 4vp because he has Korean War. and he targets like Colombia and Uruguay.
the maps looks great, I must say. Much better than the VP shows. He gave up Thailand. I will keep independent threats so far. Thailand, Pakistan, the overprotection. Candidates, maybe I should have played duck and cover right now. Uruguay? Mm -hmm. Fortunately for me, he missed it. really protect Europe against socialist governments plus scoring combo otherwise uh, in other way than by playing independent threats for an event in the last action round and I don't want to do this because my last action round will probably be boosted by containment I also should take Libya Algeria and yep failed and overprotect Pakistan taking Algeria comes first because he has access here Libya second and then I'll be able to play he's not rolling well and my last action round, probably the Cambridge 5 with 3 hops instead of 2, but because of containment. So 1 Libya, 1 Pakistan, and I think 1 Brazil. Or one Libya, one Pakistan, and one Malaysia, keeping domination of Asia. He should be able to know of my, of my cards, as I know his five-year plan. Messilan <laughs> Vihun. Not entirely safe. How about bird trap? Norad is completely useless. Nuclear saps is completely useless. Try Missile Envy to be able just to. Hmm, maybe not. Let's try. Let's try Missile Envy. Yeah. Fresh left of three. Okay, so Birdshop could be kind of sort of useless. I shouldn't go for controlling Africa because this sh would show him what he should do. Okay, he's gonna coup anyway. Yeah. looks like a natural response 
I think I'll trigger Europe scoring first. And then fight for Africa. And my fight for Africa should base on taking three non battlegrounds at once with Bear Trap, which is not going to be played for an event in this case. China card. Heavily fighting for Asia and not enough in Asia. Hmm. Fortunately for me, if I dominate Africa the way I wanted to, he's not gonna deny my domination even by successfully realigning South Africa. not lucky for him. Maybe it's time to trigger nuclear subs and attempt to regain Angola because I need Milops anyway. <laughs> and first Nasser because I want to get rid of it before Sabbath comes and I want any other way. <laughs> then summit if Nasser fails, <laughs> or if he responds with some Portuguese empire crumbles or so. <laughs> Uruguay? Yep. Oh, the dice certainly love me. <laughs> so summit into Uruguay will even be a strong move. <laughs> His Prashnev doesn't seem to be really helpful. Now I must admit I am very lucky on my dice. And I can't really complain the cars as well. If I'm very lucky I may play Africa scoring now, controlling Africa. For 10 I assume, not 11, because he's gonna control Botswana, yeah. Play Summit into Uruguay and then play Bertrap on AR7. Hmm. Still not defending Asia enough, but okay now he needs only one more country. Mm. <laughs> he really played as if he had had this scoring. Okay, he didn't, he just wanted to get rid of my domination, but Bertrap after two spacing of such cards is really a great call. Okay, fifth turn. If any, this is the ideal time for defectors. A simple reason that this is the least certain time about defectors in my hand he can think of. Central America scoring a great scoring to be defected actually. Hmm, maybe not great, but the fact that I defected a zero scoring is good. Yeah. Now I get to coup. 
and guess what I don't really have good cars and good targets <laughs> I will play the China card. He successfully got rid of the trap. So I'm thinking about the China. Okay, if I play the China card. I keep two cards, so I can avoid playing three cards. Socialist governments are self-reparable. Cultural evolution is an autoplay due to incidents. Meaningless, so distal Muslims. <laughs> Muslim may be self-reparable even. So I think cooing Egypt is the best call now. I only rolled a one. <laughs> Which means Muslims are gonna be self-reparable. Remaining scorings Asia, Southeast Asia, Middle East, South America. Mm -hmm. I don't want you here. I know I have only zero modifier, but I have three attempts. And the second one of them already succeeded. And this was just an extra. I may keep one card more if I play. Solve negotiations. But now it's time for you to incident. Yes, this way. I think I will play solve for ops. don't really see good use of it or maybe arms race for ops because I don't see good targets for one ops coup NATO hmm. Ooh. we're fighting so strong for South America okay I know you are gonna get chili but you are not gonna probably save yourself from my domination mm -hmm. okay go back to chili I think this is a good moment for this. Just to check him against some cards he may have. Alliance for Progress to Space Race. Self-repair it. Uh, 
I'm holding this tool consequently because if I can make it until turn 7 sooner or later it becomes a harmless card yeah let's space it because if I have to auto repair it I may as well go here and threaten things hmm Socialists gone, so special relationship looks good, but maybe Cuban Missile Crisis is even better. Where's Fido? Can't see it here. Hmm. Brush War doesn't really have good targets. <laughs> yeah, let's do it with special relationship. ABM Treaty. Oh, this is what I forgot. So he may go to Great Britain and stop my special relationship. I must admit I forgot it, but at least he can't coup. Asian battleground. Conveniently. Mm -hmm. He can coup. Yeah, he could coup it now quite conveniently Defcon is a 3 but it doesn't really matter I have to protect what should be mine And I got a brush war target. Maybe I should just you and intervene a flower power now. The other hand, if I'm playing the entire hand, spacing something. Probably spacing Liptio, you and intervening this so playing all, uh, all other cards. That was quite fortunate that he failed this. Okay. My turn to attempt something. I didn't fail. And I must admit that the dice really, really like me. Oh, and I'm able to hold one card due to salt negotiations so I have to secure UK and so negotiate ABM treaty to realign France so this is the plan mm. okay let's attempt to stop him from spacing attempt failed would be nice to have at least three in France at the end of this turn. So flower power to UK and France. Eventually succeeded in his spacer's attempt to the third step and gained two VPs and let's be honest he deserved these two VPs 
because if I calculate well, it was his fourth attempt from this particular square. There's not going to be a reshuffle. <laughs> Probably. So I get eight. Okay. In this case, there is going to be a reshuffle. And I want a reshuffle. France, I assume. Okay, let's resolve event first to just repair the damage it does. Mexico always a good target. Oh, he had this one, yeah. So Philippines could have worked better and it's the lost opportunity. Panama Canal returned is still waiting somewhere. Let's threaten something here. After all, I'm gonna salt plus ABN. And if I succeed with France, I want to have some other realignment targets. I will lose one victory point due to mill ups. But I don't think I should have pushed Milops due to this thing. You have to play Sadat. South America, Asia, Junta, wow! And ask not in case anything goes wrong. <sighs> now this is what I call a day. That's simply great. He really needs a game changer to survive this single turn. Because even for South America, my fighting position is far superior to his. Mostly due to Junta. 
Shuttle diplomacy makes things even worse for him in Asia. So, South America is gonna win me the game on the spot. If it ends up like it looks here. He has Nixon and I prefer him playing it with the China card in my hand than in his. Mm -hmm. I think it's Junta time. I think he can't protect everything now. Plus, even if I just score South America for four, I have Camp David Accords. It's a funny situation where puppet governments pr are probably best played for ops. None of us is cooing. Because there's no time for cooing. So. Thank you for watching and see you next time. As you can see, my rating slightly improved, but not very, very much. <laughs>